few more terms and concepts are the duns. The duns are actually a small hill which is formed by the rivers and the next is Dwab. Dwab is a land between two rivers. You see Do, it comes from the word Dwab Do, Do means two and Ab, Ab means river, water. So, it is a Punjabi word which means land between two rivers, Dwab. Okay. Now, these were the new terms and concepts which now you have become familiar with and many of them you were already aware of and we have revised them. Now, let us see about the physical features of India. India is a huge country as far as the land is concerned and it has varied relief features. India has mountains, India has islands, it has plateaus and it can boast of most of the land relief features that we have. So, this country has actually been formed of all these features because of the weathering, erosion and the deposition. These are the three features which contribute to the making of the physical or the relief feature of a country. And we shall be talking about these various relief features in detail in the following clippings that we have. But here we need to understand few more things before we start understanding about the relief features in detail. You see the earth scientists they gave forward a theory of plate tectonics and you know there are seven plates that we have and according to them when the stresses were made on the plate tectonics that led to the folding and faulting and volcanic activity. So, this was the theory which was put forward by the earth scientist. Now, we must also know how the Himalayas were formed. As far as the Himalayas are concerned, their formation, it is said that there was a huge piece that is the Gondwana land and you already know what Gondwana land was, it was a supercontinent and it started drifting towards the Eurasian plate. This northward drift that is towards the Eurasian plate resulted in the collision of the Eurasian plate. And when this collision took place, we see that there was a sea called Tithys under which there were sedimentary rocks and these sedimentary rocks folded and the Himalayas were formed. This is how the formation of the Himalayas was done and I continue with such more interesting facts and about the features of India in the next clipping.